hello guys welcome to another episode of my youtube channel i hope we all started the new year joyously happy new year to you guys and our topic for today will be goals how to set goals and how to achieve them and this topic is very important because we just started the new year today is the second of january if you have not yet set goals for the year it's very important to set them now it's not yet late and you start working on them stay glued to this channel because what i'm about to say is very important so make sure you also subscribe hit the like button and watch till the end so like i said our topic of today is about goals and how to set goals and achieve them and before we dive right in let me just tell you if you're not setting goals you're just like a moving train without direction like you have no purpose in life and <clears throat> maybe most of times you can always be having low energy because you don't have goals you don't have something you're working towards right so setting goals is very important it gives you a sense of purpose it gives you a drive like you wake up every morning to something so if you're not setting goals if you've not set any goals before this is a time to start this video is a sign that you should start setting goals and make your life better improve on yourself your business and any aspect of your life you want to improve in so let's get started what is a goal a goal is anything you want to accomplish within a given period of time while working hard and being determined to accomplish that goal successful people have successful habits like setting goals if you don't set goals you're just like a moving train without direction you're just like a ship without a shepherd you're just going right but once you have goals you now have priorities you now have something you're working hard towards so as we just started a new year this is a very good and prime time for you to set all your goals and if you set goals last year and you've not achieved them maybe you want to write down you take a sheet of paper you write down what went wrong and why you did not achieve your goals and if you didn't achieve your goals it doesn't mean you should give up there is no unrealistic goal there is just unrealistic timing right so if you did not achieve your goals there's no room for you to give up or to say oh it's not possible what you have to do is you write down what happened and why you think you didn't achieve your goals maybe you want to set a longer time frame for it like me i didn't really achieve my goals all my goals i set last year but what i did was i took a sheet of paper i wrote down all what i achieved last year I wrote down all the challenges I had and at some point I had a sense of accomplishment because sometimes you we focus a lot on the results and forget about the process so when I saw the process and everything I went through last year because I really went through a lot I'm just so grateful even the things I achieved and everything I'm so grateful because sometimes you set some goals but you have some challenges in order to get ready for when you actually achieve that goal right so what you want to do is i don't want you to feel discouraged that you didn't achieve your goals you said last year do not feel discouraged instead take a sheet of paper write down what all what you achieved and also write down all the challenges you had last year and what are the lessons you're taking from these challenges you write down your goals again give it a realistic time frame yeah so you now work towards your goals you have a realistic time frame maybe you need to give it some time longer a longer period of time so you have personal goals and business goals what are the personal goals you you setting for yourself this year is it health wise is it relationship wise what are those goals write them down and believe that you can achieve them especially if you know what it takes and you're working towards it what are your business goals do you want to make extra money this year in your business what does it take for you to 
make that extra cash do you want to hire more employees do you want to expand your business do you want to turn your business around so what are your financial goals so all these are the different types of goals that keep us going right and sometimes instead of focusing a lot on the results we should rather focus on the process because it never stops right we should enjoy the process it's like hanging by the swing it's like chasing the wind you never get there right because once you achieve one goal you set another goal so enjoying the process is very important because once you achieve a goal it's like some dopamine is released in your brain and we all know how dopamine works it doesn't last for long so it's also advisable to set many goals and not just have a single identity like for example you your goal is to graduate from university and that's the single goal you have this year when you graduate from the university you have that certificate you now become a graduate that dopamine you were waiting for you were working so hard for gets released and you enjoy that moment just for a few minutes and it's done so much so that you can even fall into depression so it's always good to set many goals right so that if you're feeling down or depressed by one another one is lifting you up another one is pushing you another one is giving you that drive so and it's like i just like i said it's very important to enjoy the process rather than always focusing on the results and let me tell you guys achieving your goals becoming successful just simply needs a different you you have to become somebody else you have to be willing to work hard you have to put in the work you have to get up and do everything fast and get done with it and move on to the next so having that spirit of doing things fast like i woke up today i had to go to work i had to go to the gym and everything so i try to do everything fast 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 get done with it and get on to the next like always being busy right so doing things fast being determined like why do you want what you want because sometimes we just set goals and then we don't even have the why sometimes when you are no longer motivated when you're just down low spirited your why is what pushes you to keep going right so it's always important to write down why we want these goals so that it can always push us so in order to achieve your goals what you want to do is give it a realistic time frame right let's say for example you earn five hundred thousand francs a month and this new year 2023 you want to earn 1.5 million every month so what you want to do is be realistic right so what you do is this is january you say this january you're going to earn 700,000 it sounds realistic right to live from 500,000 to 700,000 a month 700,000 francs a month i'm speaking my currency <laughs> because i'm from cameroon guys so from five hundred thousand francs to seven hundred thousand francs a month it sounds realistic what is it going to take for you to earn that extra two hundred thousand francs you write all of that down so when you wake up you know that this is what you have to do and you have to do it fast so if this month you earn seven hundred thousand francs you are going to feel motivated and you're going to feel positive and you're going this there will be that drive to keep on pushing you and you can maybe say the next month you earn um, nine hundred thousand francs which is realistic so what you did to earn the two hundred thousand francs you double that effort and do it to get the nine hundred thousand francs instead of just saying you want to earn 1.5 million francs from five hundred thousand francs this month which sounds a little bit unrealistic so taking it step by step you see that sometime in june you'll be able to earn sometime in june or april you'll be able to earn the 1.5 million francs you wanted to earn at the start of the year everything starts small right 
even when you started your business it started small you didn't just start big even when you were growing up you started as a baby you were not walking you started small so everything starts small i know that sometimes we can just be excited to set goals especially me <laughs> i'm guilty of that fact i said very <laughs> i said very unrealistic goals guys but i love it because it pushes me i said very unrealistic goals all of us can be tempted to but let's try to be realistic especially in order not to be discouraged so it's better to set those goals like you can set a big goal right that by the end of the year you want to be earning 1.5 million francs every month so you start small then you go big like it happens in every nobody just woke up and sorted out everything nobody just woke up and was big in business it all started from somewhere right even when you're preparing for an exam you start from somewhere you have to start reading you have to start preparing doing tutorials and all that and even sometimes we get discouraged and even sometimes we don't achieve our goals but that doesn't mean that we cannot achieve them we just even sometimes when we take exams and the results are not really what we wanted it doesn't mean we should give up right you just take the lessons correct what you didn't do right and do it again you put more effort you work harder in order to achieve all those things that you want so setting goals setting goals is very important goals give you a sense of direction which is very very important and more so when, when you accomplish once you accomplish a goal you have that positive vibe like that positive energy that keeps you going because life is already so difficult we easily get depressed we easily get sad and all that setting goals makes you do what you want to do in life setting goals keeps you motivated setting goals helps you push yourself a little bit more like for me i'm 25 years old now and when i was 23 i was so overwhelmed and i didn't set any goals and then i just moved into a new town and start and started a bigger business in this new town so i had no goals and i'm seriously regretting imagine i'm 25 years old now but i'm regretting why i didn't set those goals when i was 23 i would have been doing better by now or there were some things that took me a longer time to realize that i would have realized earlier than that and i'm not forgiving myself for not setting those goals so i don't want any of you to be in this situation i was in if you don't know life is like a checkerboard and the player against you is time the, that player time is not the player who tolerates indecision so you have to start deciding now what you want what you want for yourself what you want for your business what you want for your finance you have to decide now the time is now time will not tolerate indecision and procrastination so I don't want you guys to be like me who is currently regretting why I didn't set goals in 2023. Like sometimes I wonder like what really happened that I didn't set I was so overwhelmed. <laughs> and I just say ah I'm not setting any goals this year. I'll just be which is very bad. Very, very bad. So guys, I don't want you guys to just be like that, not purpose driven, not having anything you wake up to. And it's not even healthy right so set those goals write what it takes know what it takes and keep on knocking on those doors because surely you will find what you're looking for so guys if you enjoyed this video help me share hit the like button subscribe and stay tuned also let me know in the comment section whatever topic you want me to talk about whatever you want me to talk on i'm here for you guys 
so let me know in the comment section as well which goals you'll be setting this year 2023 are they long-term goals are they short-term goals are they personal goals are they business goals let us know in the comment section and stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next video yeah happy new year love you